Brian Hack client is updated to Minecraft 1.20.40. As you can see, I can inject it right here, and it works, which is fantastic. So to get your hands on Horion, you want to head over to their official website, which is horion.download. Then you'll be brought to this page right over here, and you want to click on this green download button. And now the good thing is, you won't actually need to re-download it if you already have it on whatever device you're using. Anyways, as you can see my downloads over here, I've got the Horion Injector, and I can just double click on that to open it up. There is also no install process needed for this, which is once again great. So, now that I have the Injector over here, and Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.20.40 started up, I can click on this green Inject button, and as you can see, it'll automatically inject. If you want to learn how you can use Horion for older versions, for example 1.20.30, then I will leave a video for that down in the description, because now it's updated to 1.20.40, it won't actually work for any of the older video for, for any of the older versions anymore. Anyways, I'll quickly head into a Minecraft world and I'll show you how this works. Also, if you like content like this, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. I actually started recording this video three minutes after Horion updated. And if you like that consistency, once again, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use this client, then I recommend that you head to the description, because there's a really in-depth tutorial that covers everything over there. And right now, I'm just going to explain briefly. So I'll start off with the commands over here. Um, as you can see, you can press dot help, and that'll bring you all these commands. However, almost all of them will not work on servers or realms. I also actually have an explanation on video, video for that, because it gets asked so often. Um, that is linked in the description, but all of these commands do sadly not work. Some of them do, um, but none of them work in uh, realms or in servers. They all work in private worlds, though, if that's what you want. Anyways, um, and now on to the real stuff, I suppose. You can press on the insert key to open up this hack menu over here. You can actually also rebind that key um, by opening up the chat, pressing dot bind, just like that then click GUI, and then any key you want. For example, F, G, H, maybe um, whatever, that key, I don't care. Um, you can just use any key that you want there. I'm just going to use F, hit enter, and as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is now F. So, I can press on the F key, and that is going to open up um, all of this right over here so that is fantastic now I don't need to press on insert anymore so to enable a hack you want to click on it and it's gonna turn this blue color and to disable it you want to click on it again now as you can see in the top left and the top right hand side I've got some stuff over there if you want to remove that you can click on this tab GUI as well as this array list button right over here and then both of those will disappear the array list we saw earlier is going to show all of the hacks that you currently have enabled, as you can see. Now on all of these options that actually have a plus next to them, you can right click on them and then they'll allow you to customize them a little, as you can see. Most of them don't have a lot of customizations, but it will allow you to do some more fun stuff. Most of these should also be pretty self-explanatory, and if you still not, don't really get it, you can hover about these in the bottom left hand side, you'll see a little explanation. Anyways, similar to the dot bind click GUI we did earlier in chat, you can also bind other stuff, for example certain hacks that you want. All you need to do for that is just go into here, look at the name of the hack, for example fly, right over here. So I can write it in the chat, do dot bind, just like this, um, fly just like that, and then choose any key. Say I want to bind H to that. As you can see, the key bind of fly is now H, so now when I click on H, I can fly like in s creative mode, but I am already in creative mode, so it's not going to do much. Um, anyways, basically, that is exactly how to use this client. If you do have any more questions, um, and then feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Once again, there's an in-depth tutorial on how to use this in the description together with a video explaining why the commands in MBTs do not work. For right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.